11, a new Milford woman and a national gun rights group taking top state officials to court. Court records show the woman is claiming her constitutional rights are being violated because of the state's strict gun laws. Let's get to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne with the breakdown of her allegations and what state leaders are now saying about it. Christian. Hi there, Stephanie. Yeah, this federal lawsuit mentions a new Milford woman who has guns and magazines. It also says she fears getting in trouble with the law since her weapons are illegal in Connecticut. But tonight, state officials say this woman was recruited by extremists. The National Foundation for Gun Rights says they filed five lawsuits nationwide with the goal of ending magazine and assault weapons bans. Connecticut is one of their targets. Assault weapons are illegal here in Connecticut. Large capacity magazines are illegal here in Connecticut. Ghost guns are illegal here in Connecticut. But now this gun rights group and Patricia brought from New Milford want to change that. According to a lawsuit filed against top state officials, Patricia admits she owns semi-automatic firearms and magazines capable of holding more than 10 rounds of ammunition, all kept near her home. Patricia claims her Second Amendment is being violated and fears criminal prosecution since she plans to keep all her weapons. I've seen solicitations by extremist groups looking for plaintiffs, looking for people in Connecticut to bring a lawsuit. So this is something that somebody from out of state is manufacturing. Attorney General William Tong believes Patricia was recruited by the gun rights group. He says it's all part of a plan to attack strict gun laws after the Supreme Court overturned a New York law this summer. But Tong states Connecticut laws are constitutional. Personally, I find it sick that somebody from far away from Connecticut would try to come in here and change our laws when they have no idea what it meant to Connecticut to lose 26 people almost 10 years ago, children and teachers. In a statement, Governor Ned Lamont says Connecticut's laws banning assault weapons and large capacity magazines was adopted as part of a bipartisan effort to prevent needless tragedy and is overwhelmingly supported by the people who live here. And we did reach out to Patricia and her legal team. We did not get a formal response tonight. According to court records, state officials need to file their response within 21 days. In the newsroom tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Christian.